This is all. Okay. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about, oh yes, something green. Yeah. <laughs> or you're hoping something green in your wallet. <laughs> yeah, actually what's going to not be in your wallet at the moment. I mean, all, it is, all the news that, that uh, five, six days ago, the company that does the emailing for most of the major companies in this country got hacked. Well, part of it is, is if it happened five, six days ago, how come we're only hearing about it right now? Some, oh, they, was it because there was a weekend? No, because they got caught. Mm -hmm. Somebody blew the whistle on them. And then as it goes along, I mean, like, uh, like I was at like about midnight last night, they made the announcement that Best Buy had now been hit. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, folks. It's not you little people out there. You know, the little guy that basically maybe goes in once a year and buys a TV, it's only the preferred customers that are being hit. Oh, that's right. You know, all those people that, well, you get those discount cards, right? Mm -hmm. So they can track, well, actually, I have mine at Best Buy because then I don't have to even look for my receipts. It's all on the computer. Yeah. You get your discounts, you get all those things, and guess what? They have a tracking of all your receipts, which can be good or bad. In this case, bad. Because how would they know it's only the best customers? Uh-huh. It's because they, okay. They've hacked into the mainframe of each one of these companies mm -hmm. because the way it works is the cup. This isn't just Esperon; it's, it's multiple companies too. They think there's 45 million emails Out. that are at work because it's just, uh, what happened is it's the largest hacking thing in history, and it's a, it's it's a lot of major companies and their so-called services that do. I mean, I think it's crappy that the company doesn't handle its own email. Instead, they contract well, out. Well, no. I mean, part of it is that doesn't surprise me because companies say, oh, you're busy as a company, Citibank, Bank of America, whatever. You're doing this. Why don't you let us do, um, send out your mailers, right? Do your email marketing. And this is why you don't do that. Because what happens is, is I, okay, basically, I know a couple of, I know uh, uh, some, they're not kids anymore, they're going adults, but they're 10, 10 years old. They hooked it, they hacked into every telephone system in the world. And then gave their classmates in school the password, which basically is how they're getting into the, uh, the accounts, is that somebody has the password, the main password for every single one of these companies. Mm -hmm. But that's what they did. They gave kids the password and, and so they could make uh, all the phone calls they wanted. Of course, they got caught and then were banned from using any phone for the rest of their life. Them going into a phone booth in England will get them tossed into a jail cell for violation of probation. Mm -hmm. They cannot make phones. They cannot be near phones. If there's any, they cannot even sit in a restaurant by a phone. Oh, really? That's right. No, it means no cell phones. They have total no phone service. But they do have the internet, which is really what they should have kept them not off the phone. But cost their mother hundreds of thousands of dollars wow. in order to pay off all the bills that were charged. But um, what they did was all they hacked in, and they, they like I said, they hacked in found the main password for people to bypass everything and then everybody in the world could basically use their own phone and not be charged for it. Mm -hmm. Or go to a phone booth and not be charged for it. Mm -hmm. Or go use a cell phone and not be charged for it because they had the number one password to allow you to bypass everything. Mm -hmm. And this is what goes on. I mean, you, you mean, they're not really selling email lists, they're selling access to their mainframe computers. That's really bad. Yeah, and how That's they really get in the really mainframe bad. computers, they give them a password. So, you say, well, how in the world, because they say it's one person, well, how could one person do all of this with all these companies and all these systems? Because there's only one word. One word. You only needed one word for each one of them. One. And if you got a list of the, you know, like, uh, I'm assuming that all these companies that are providing email services basically keep the words all together in one spot. Oh, remember like they tell you, don't write down your password. Uh -huh. So they put the passwords all in one spot. And all he did was, you know, probably, you know, he, you know, he, and, and I'll lay odds that all these companies did the very same thing that were all the email companies. They had all the passwords in one spot, so all he did was go, mm, 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 mm. But it, it, it's not one person because to figure out, you realize how much time it would take to download everybody's, per, all the preferred list of everybody? A long time. It can't, it can't have been done. It had to have been done for a considerable length of time, which means the companies had to have known there was an, a drain somewhere. I would think it's in-house in general. Yeah, somebody working for uh, for the main company, basically, like I said, they uh, somebody... They, they were working on their severance package. Working on, yeah, they got it. <laughs> so, but, I mean, 
They know who it is, supposedly, but they haven't arrested them because they probably have a lot of it. Okay, don't worry about it. They haven't hacked into the company's thing that does our billing yet. I love yeah, it. but using the email gets you into an account which tells, oh, yes, remember when you do those online payments? Yeah. And it's encrypted? Well, it may be encrypted. However, how would they know each month to get it from that account? Yeah. And if, if they have your email and they have the main password, they're into your account. And it's kind of, you're thinking, but they don't have my password. Well, it's kind of like the master key. It's the master key. Right? Yeah. Where you need the, the one master key and you can get into all of the doors. Yeah. Like, all the you know, drawers, yeah. all the... My father used to have a master key when he was a police officer. Mm -hmm. And and to see, I think we're like uh, 1,500 other motorcycle officers at the same time as him. They all had master keys, mm -hmm. which meant they could get into any of the businesses with the master keys. You the think they don't do things? No, 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 they do. They do. You still do it. Every lock that is made has a master key to it. I mean, and you don't, well, actually, if you do flying, you also know that because how many locks are there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a master key. That's why there's only certain locks you can use. That's right. And they want you to do that. I mean... I mean, well, for instance, we got a lock that we bought last year for the Long Beach Grand Prix that we'd love to get the master key because she managed to move it and twist it, which can't be done. I can't get it unlocked, so. Oh, but, where is that lock? It's sitting in the back in my hovel, as I call where I live. So. Oh, give it to me. I'll work on it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll work on it again. So, no. You know, but, uh, you know, you set everything to zero, I think, and then twist it. I said, I managed to get it open. I broke, I managed to lock, pick the lock. And then she twisted it. And then, you know, how many combinations are, are after that? But no, but um, computers, uh, hey, remember, our president wants to put everything, all of your medical records on, you know, on computers. So it'll make it easier to have uh, people to check on your medical situation. I think, I think that's one of the reasons it's taken so long to do it. I mean, you're, you're already in the system because of your social security number yeah. and your driver's license. But right. then to add medical records onto it, yeah, because it just increases, well, he needs another 10, 20,000 people and another 20, 30 billion dollars to make that work. But this Didn't alone... Didn't he hide all those hundreds of billions of dollars oh, yeah. anyway in the Yeah, 200 and some. Yeah, so just take that. that. Yeah, yeah. That's, it, it, since they know it, that's never going to happen. They will defund all of that. That's what the Democrats and Republicans can get together if... Okay, let's put it this way. If you spend, if you cut money that shouldn't have been appropriated to begin with, it makes you look like you're good and cut the budget when you're actually cutting nothing. Mm -hmm. But um, like you're talking about, though, I mean, everything is on computers today. Yeah, that, that, you know that Microsoft, you give Microsoft this instance, you buy their computer with their operating system, you give them the right to play inside your computer. They know everything that your computer is doing. They know who you're emailing, what you're, you can't type something in without it. I mean, I sat there last night watching a movie, and uh, the guy, uh, um, basically, he, he basically, he'd been sleeping next to the computer at night for years because he was a night watchman, actually hadn't been on night watchman, mm -hmm. but he'd go in and he'd hear the people, you know, typing the thing in to open the vaults, you know, and, and he would hear, you know, because he could tell there's a difference in uh, the, the, sound. the sound of the, of the, the keystrokes, you know, you can tell by the thing. That's how a lot of people break into things, and by the keys they can tell by your, the, the, which thing you're pushing. They know that there's a different, uh, um, like, uh, a different tone for each key. Mm -hmm. And he sat there, and, and he, he basically, like he was asleep, and they said, okay, and then, and then that's the sound, and then they'd record that one, and then that's the sound. And then they, they were doing it by listening to things, and then, and then they, they tried to open it, it didn't work, and he said, they're trying to remember, okay, it didn't work because you gotta you gotta do the whole thing in reverse, mm -hmm. and that will open it. Because mm -hmm. that's what I remembered. Every single number in reverse, and then the thing open wide. So that's how easy it is to actually bust into things. I mean, I remember I worked on an episode of It Takes a Thief, written by Dean Hargrove, starring Richard uh, Robert Wagner and Eddie Albert. Were basically that that they did the same sort of thing with an episode then, but he listened to the clicks. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to be anywhere near it. He had um, he had an amplifier in his ear, and he would he listened to him turning the thing. Go, click, click, click. That's why when you watch them on the they they have like an amplifier when they listen to the old ones. Yeah. 
But he was, this was modern, so he's listening on his ear as they're outside opening the safe up so they could, uh, he brought, bring in a lot of stuff, you know, brought in a lot of money needed to put in the safe, and they listened to him opening it. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. And he basically, that's how it done. But, uh, you know, hacking is not the world's most difficult thing. I mean, uh, here's another one, too. Like, for instance, most organizations do not change the way they do business from employee to employee being fired. Oh, to the employee being fired. So he, he takes the knowledge. He knows, he retains the knowledge how to get into the system. Your IT people all have the knowledge of getting into the system. Well, think about if somebody works for a company and they have company keys. Do they go out and change all the locks? No, no they don't they change. Just give them the key back. I mean, what happens too is that most people, okay, what they say is, uh, do not copy this key. Uh, yeah, everybody copies their keys. Especially the ones that say do not copy. Do not copy because you and most people, they, you, know, you can go to a. You know, they'll, they'll go to a place where they don't pay any attention, just run and put the thing in, make it, and you take it. So mm -hmm. when they take your company key away, you still have the interest in the business. I mean, how many bad movies do you see Which on Which is television? why they still have those pass cards. Yeah, I mean, like you watch that show with, uh, was it Timothy Hutton, okay. you know, Leverage or something, where, you know, they, they fire some guy, and some disgruntled employee, and the employee had a copy of a pass key to get in, and he just goes into the business and robs the business with his pass key. Mm -hmm. Because they don't think about copies. The same thing. Oh, well, we have electronic things today. Uh, how difficult is it for us to ride, you know, read a thing? We can buy a thing for our cell phones that will allow us to read your card. Hey, so you just, and you got the card, and you make a dupe. You clone the card. Mm -hmm. And you just go like that. So, you know, we got the world's crappiest intelligent system in the world for protection anything. I mean, it used to be like my father said, when he was a policeman, that they, they told him the the best protection you had was just that people thought you had protection. You know, if they, they, they the day they know computers can't be protected, so that people have no faith in this stuff. But I mean, when you say, you know, this is protected by such and such system that never existed, I mean, they, I can guarantee you when my father was in the police force, they'd hand out signs saying, this house, this business is protected by you know, Acme Security. Well, it was from the Roadrunner folks. <laughs> or, you know, th this business has Acme. You know, this business, you know, this business, we have Acme Patrol. They didn't exist. They were just, you know, st stickers that the, the police department printed out that people could put on their business. And that alone scared a lot of people off. Mm -hmm. You know, we have pressure sensor, you know, you know, if you bust this window, our pressure sensory system controlled by Acme, and it's a joke. There was no acne. But that's how it worked in those days. Today, I mean, um, well, I can guarantee you, I can, I can disable the security system on almost any house I can get into before I rob, if I were to rob it. Really? You know how? Oh. They're, all the plugged, electricity? they're all plugged in. You, know, you, you cut off the electricity outside, it basically triggers a security system. You, they all are plugged in in the house. Mm -hmm. If you can, and they're generally plugged in in a closet. If you have access to houses, crooks all know this, you can turn the security system off by simply unplugging it. And most people don't pay any attention that the system is not on. They'll come with their little, okay, okay let's go. Mm -hmm. And then here's another good one. They're now letting you do security stuff off your cell phones. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is to, is to uh, clone your cell phone and they know what you're doing on your cell phone so they have your security codes. And how easy is it to clone your cell phone? <laughs> and it's, you know, you have to walk up to the cell phone and go, hmm, then you've got it. You've seen enough of it in TV shows. Yeah, go look, go watch, go watch NCIS, uh, you know. That's, that's actually the reason why they were so concerned about the president having a Blackberry. Because you can clone it really easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there, but, um, you know, I, it's a disaster, and there's no reason for this disaster except for companies are cheap ass. They should no. All these companies, okay. Uh, they, you know how many? Okay, all of these people you think that basically are speaking god awful great English? They're in Pakistan and India. Usually, you can tell. Yeah, but a lot of them know. Okay, now uh, there's some of them. Uh, I do know that. Uh, you know, they now, enunciate better. Yeah, no, but they enunciate better. Accent. But uh, now we got a lot of them. That, you know, you got to understand that. Uh, this is the way, you know, we're doing things, you know. We're not outsourcing our stuff to, to India. You can tell by my accent I'm not doing this in India. I'm obviously from, uh, uh, you know, Savannah, Georgia. 
Mm -hmm. Nice young guy from India. You can tell because their command of the English language is different than yours. Well, even when they're speaking in a phony southern accent, it's better than ours. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like deeper, okay, an Indian, okay, most Indians speak with a deeper, more precise voice than, mm -hmm. than we do. We tend to And it almost it. sounds kind of sing-songy. Yeah, because it's what it is. It's just, um, I mean, I was watching a gentleman at Shirk Khan, which is basically one of the great singers in all of India, and he's going along, and he is singing a, a, a Mary, you know, Elvis Presley song, and he's just rocking, and then, and then he, oh, you must understand that, you know, that uh, I'm, I, I'm not used to singing this type of music, but I really think I sing it very good, and then they ask him, you know, how is it you can sing without an accent so well? He said, I'm, I'm not singing without an accent, I don't know what you're talking about, and then they played it. Oh my God, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. But then when he went to, oh my God, where did that come from? He did it in, like he was, you know, from Tupelo, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. But it's better than Elvis Presley would have sang it because the pronunciation is better. But most of them don't realize that they speak different. Well, they, enun well, they enunciate better. Because they're taught to speak differently than we are in our country. Mm -hmm. We have the most crappy educational system. I mean, when I went to school, I had to learn Latin. I had to learn, I learned Latin, French, German, and Spanish. So, which most, you know, since my father from Germany, <laughs> it didn't hurt much, but I, I had an advantage there. But um, it's just, uh, what was it? Um, okay, uh, I remember, what is the language of, this, of the day? Zero, 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 zero. What do you mean? That's the language of the internet. That's the language of the computers. I thought it would be zeros and ones. No. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, when you do your cell phones, what do they tell you to program it? Oh, uh, four zeros. Uh-huh. Zeros. That's zeros and ones is the next thing up. It's almost always zeros. You can almost break anything with zeros. That's how simple it is. You go to, phone company will tell you how to do it. You know, your, uh, or the last four digits of your phone number when you first started. Yeah. I mean, the encryption sucks on virtually everything that's encrypted. It takes... <laughs>